Hi, people of St. John's. I'm Sarah Trone Garriott. I work with all the diverse faith communities that support the DMARC Food Pantry Network. I'm a Lutheran minister, I'm an Iowa State Senator, and I'm also a member of St. John's Lutheran Church. We hear a lot about freedom these days. Freedom from expectations or obligations or requirements, freedom from restrictions or regulations or rules to do or say what we want, freedom from critique or criticism or consequences when we've done it or said it. As Americans, we've been taught that freedom is a good thing. And we see that term freedom get thrown around a lot. But can we go and call anything freedom? And what does freedom really mean to those who call themselves Christians? As Lutheran Christians, we have some guidance on freedom coming from Martin Luther himself. Luther saw the guilt and threats that held people hostage in their spiritual lives. And these threats also held sway in their day-to-day -day lives too. This was something that tortured Martin Luther in his own life until he found in the gospel a message of grace that sets us free. And that freedom has real life day-to-day -day implications. It's not just spiritual, not just for Sunday mornings in church. In The Freedom of a Christian, Luther writes, A Christian is the most free Lord of all and subject to none. A Christian is the most dutiful servant of all and subject to everyone. Freedom isn't a free-for-all. Freedom isn't just freedom from. Freedom is for. And that for is not for ourselves. The point of this freedom, Luther writes, is that a Christian may serve and be useful to others in all that they do, having nothing before their eyes but the necessities and the advantage of their neighbor. Luther continues, Thus, the apostle commands us to work with our own hands that we may have to give to those that need. He might have said that we may support ourselves, but he tells us to give to those that need. It is the part of a Christian to take care of their own body for the very purpose that by its soundness and well-being may be enabled to labor and to acquire and preserve property for the aid of those who are in want that thus the stronger member may serve the weaker. And we may be children of God, thoughtful and busy for one another, bearing one another's burdens, and so fulfilling the law of Christ. Our freedom is for our neighbors, that we may live life in service for them. Freedom is for the good of the whole community. This isn't anything new. We hear it plenty in the Gospels. Just look to the greatest commandment in Matthew 22. We are to live out our love for God through our love for neighbor. And remember from the Good Samaritan in Luke chapter 10, our neighbor isn't just the folks we like, who are nearby, it's all of them out there. So if the freedom we are seeking really does that, sets us free for our neighbor to love them, care for them, protect them, aid them in their time of need, show mercy to them, then that's the freedom for a Christian.